Welcome back. So now that we actually have the save button available, we'll fix the layout later. Don't worry about that for now. Um, we have a save button. Let's try and actually start creating inside our customer service. Remember that's under the shared folder, right? The customer service. Let's try to actually create the post for saving, right? So we can actually send this to the backend later on. And we'll just make a create function um, like this. And that's going to send in a customer from somewhere. And that customer uh, is going to be of the type customer. And we want to return just the customer that we just saved when we're done. So I'll just copy this down here. I don't need the colon there. Yeah, sorry, I do, of course, need that. And there we go. Now we've created a customer that we, re we need to return when we're actually done here. So we're going to say return, just like we did earlier, this HTTP to use the HTTP client. And we're going to do a new line. And then we're going to post this time because we're going to create, right? Remember, that's how we set up the REST API in the other lessons. So now we're going to post a new customer. And what do we need to send? We pretty much just need to send the customer to the URL. So let's try and use the URL like this. That's all we need in here. And then we'll do a comma to actually send the actual customer we want to change. Not an M. Stop typing M. There we go. We'll send the customer like this and then we're actually done. So the URL and then the object we want to send to the backend. Now again, we want to return something and what we want to return is the actual customer that was just saved right here. That needs to be uh, returned to the system and just with a capitalized C there. So again, this is pretty much the same thing that we built with the delete, with the get by ID, but now it's a post request returning an actual customer when we're done, sending something to the URL, right? And then we're actually sending the actual customer object that we want to create to that URL. So that's all we have to do. Now the service is actually ready to use. So now all we have to do is go up to our customer create right here and dependency inject that service. So I'm going in here and we're going to, in the constructor of a customer create component, I'm going to add a new thing here, a private customer service, just like we also did a few times now. Customer service like this, and that's going to be of the type customer service. And my fingers are, I don't know what they're doing today. I think they want weekend. Uh, because it's almost weekend. I think that's what they're all about. There we go. So now we have the customer service available. And now all we pretty much need to do is figure out in the save function how to use the customer service to actually save our user because now we have it available. See you in the next lesson where we'll actually attack that. Have fun.